All right, well, I'm back again with an update on my little project here, my Raspberry Pi data center. Um, gotta say, Christmas was good. Um, I asked for some Raspberry Pis, and asking you shall receive, and each of the family bought me a couple. Um, there's two, four, six there. I have a seventh one over in a bag. I haven't pulled out yet. Um, my brother got that for me. It's got a touchscreen display and all that, and I might think about integrating it into what I have here maybe a little wireless controller not real sure yet um, I've already added one to this my big hurdle like I said was the storage component piece and I've actually completed that um, I got a, a bunch of micro flash drives they're sitting in the top there you can see them they all just lit up right there uh, they're running a RAID 5 array on them and I have it set to um, run NFS. Uh, I will say it was a challenge getting the array to auto assemble. A bunch of research on the internet, I was able to figure out that I needed to adjust the um, the init script for it to wait. It basically probes the devices and waits a little longer before it tries to build the array. So. Um, in total, each of those are 128 gig a piece, so I think it works out to 384 gig usable with RAID 5, so that's 3 plus a parity. Um, all said and done, I am very pleased with it. Uh, it works fairly well. I have uh, my box that runs Alexa uh, currently oh, I zoomed in by accident. Hold on. Um, it's running over here. Um, this one's doing NFS boot, and that's plugged into the second Pi down right here. If you look here, um, let's see if I can focus on that. If you look, there is no SD card in that. So, where's the one above it? that's doing the storage actually has an SD card in it. But the storage is just for the boot process so um, to prove that unplug this here I guess that's not the cleanest way to reboot but so we're going to boot up now off of NFS So now that that's booted up there, now there's one thing, um, so this device here that has, so if you watch that light right there, it, it just blinks every second or so, and it doesn't show any indication of like disk activity or anything, I don't know if it's a just an error light that says, hey blink if I don't have an SD card in it. So I don't know if there's a way to toggle that. It's something I might look at. It's not really that big a deal, but I would actually like to have it show disk IO off of NFS, but I think that would be kind of cool. But um, next step is start building those out and put those into a rack of some or one of these racks and then from there I'll go in and actually configure them to do stuff. So um for those of you who are just seeing this for the first time, uh, the bottom one does my that's my NTP box. That's actually a Raspberry Pi B plus. Um, the rest of these are Raspberry Pi threes, um, and I have to look for sure what they all do now. I have it in the spreadsheet because I forgot, but uh, I believe this one here is the it does uh, Open VPN and monitoring on that one and then this one I believe does um, I forget 
I have open VPN on one of these. Oh yeah, I'm sorry, the third one. This is the PBX. This is all my phone system. So in the house, I got a few phones. I have a it's like incredible PBX, but it's for the Raspberry Pi that's installed on this one here. So if uh, I pick up my phone, it goes out to uh, Google Voice, and then uh, it makes the outbound and incoming calls on my Google Voice number off of that. So, and there's actually my buddy's uh, PBX also comes in through OpenVPN and terminates here. And you can I can call to his house over this VPN connection. It's kind of because I can. It's a cool idea connection. So, um, and then the next one up is the Alexa Pi. I'm gonna pause this video here and turn on Alexa, and then I can show you that. All right. Well, I started the processes for Alexa. She and it's coming up. Wait for it to open up a web browser. All right, browser's opening up. Continue here. All right, tokens are ready. And then hit OK here. Populates the token. Now I'm going to do is start the voice surface service. Alexa, sing me a Christmas song. Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, of all the trees most lovely. Oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, of all the trees most lovely. So Alexa works, and Alexa is actually being boot off the NFS, which takes us back to the, the top one here, which is the storage. So. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. This project's coming along. I'm just going to keep track of it as I go. And and then once uh, I'm getting close to getting the rest of this brought up, I'll, I'll get it mounted um, and make it look pretty. So, kind of excited. Alright, thanks.